In this limit problem, we're supposed to find a limit as n approaches 8, both on the left of the right and then both sides. The first one is 8 from the left. Just or always remember that negative sign means approaches 8 from negative land or from the left. Now, what does the original function look like if you graphed it? Uh, this is a square root function, but it does have a horizontal shift. The minus 8 moves it 8 to the right. So it's a square root function that looks like this. Shift it 8 to the right, so that x value is 8. And this question is asking us, what is the limit as n approaches this number 8, both on the left and right? So if I just draw this much bigger, I'm just going to zoom in on that area. Here's 8. Our graph looks like that. All right, if we approach from the right, which is the second one, if we look at this here in green, we're going along the curve from the right side, so we're going down this direction. And what y value do we get close to? When x gets close to 8, the y value is approaching the x-axis, or y equals 0. So we're going to get 0 here. That's the y value that these arrows are approaching. Now, if we try to go from the other side, approach, so we just approached 8 from the right side, from positive land. Now we're going to approach 8 from the left side, but we have a serious problem. Unlike before, where there was a curve, there's no curve to the left of 8. So there's no, no actual function values over here. So we have no function values. So we can't even describe what's happening here because there's no y values at all. So we say this limit does not exist. DNE. And for the last part, what's happening here? Uh, this is approaching 8 from both sides. So if you approach from the, from the left side and the right side, we get two different things. One of them just does not exist. The other one, 0. And whenever the one-sided limits do not agree when you get something different, then the two-sided limit, this one, does not exist. So as soon as one of them did not exist, then the regular two-sided limit does not exist also.